Hello, welcome to Actual Play, Nara and the Burning Wheel, episode six. Um, I am Sean Dittner. I see him pronouns. You can find me everywhere at that, 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 the other way, which is some word I went, that, uh, at Sean Dittner. Um, I play Nara, and um, yeah, I'm, I'm big excited. Last last session, she grabbed the Burning Wheel, and, and you'd feel like that would be... Um, I feel like grabbing hold of the burning wheel would be the kind of thing that would be like a campaign ender in a normal burning wheel game. And then in Jedi's burning wheel, it's like, uh, what? You, you turn into a dragon, you grab the burning wheel, you, you slew a dragon. You know, that's just Monday, right? Like, that's just today, right? <laughs> Move on. So Nara's all burnt up and uh, determined to grab onto it again. So I'm excited to, to do that. Uh, as always, all the money that we make on the channel goes is split between Black Lives Matter and the Trans Legal Defense Fund. So if you give us monies, that's where it goes. Uh, if you want to just give them money directly, that's cool too. Or give money to the causes that you feel are doing the most good in the world. Uh, or do other non-monetary things that you feel like will help make the world just a little better. We love you all for anything you can do. Um, uh, including just being here hanging out with us so it's great um, how about you judd hey my name is judd uh he him and it is nice to be back uh sometimes you burn the wheel and sometimes the wheel burns you is that a thing i don't know i'm not sure uh but yeah it's nice to be back i'm, I'm curious to see i got uh the beliefs from sean today and so i'm curious to see how that'll shake out uh, and I, I, I can't tell you how many pieces of paper with with Sean's beliefs written on it I had to burn before I got it just right. Like it took me a really long time to do that. So like sometimes like the 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 font would get burned and it would be illegible and and it was really very difficult. So I just want you to just appreciate how difficult that was for me to for me to put together. Uh, but yeah, there are the beliefs and and we can we can start to get to those when we when we're when we're ready. Mm -hmm. uh, we can still kind of chat a little bit. Thank you. Thank you to our regulars in chat. Uh, I see I see Andy and Luke and uh, it's nice to see you. It's kind of yeah, it's just very, very homey to be back on actual play every two weeks and and playing these wonderful games. So very nice, yeah. and, and they I don't know. Out. Yeah, yeah. We'll uh, we'll see how uh, we'll see how uh, how things go tonight. Um, you know, we never know how long this campaign is going to be, and there have been many times where I'm like, oh, "This this could be it. This could be the end." Uh, and that still is looming because I got big. I got big mad beliefs. Uh, this, yeah. This Awesome. Yeah, they are. They are ambitious. They are not effing around, and and that's fine. Uh, Sean might find that Nara like puts her toe in the water of one of them and is like, "Yeah, you know what? Don't need to do that tonight. Uh, not interested." <laughs> so sometimes that's the way it goes. We'll see. Yeah, we'll see. We'll see. Um, cool. uh, before we get started, Judd, I think you've got a brand new game going on. Yeah, I've got I've got the first of three games that we've agreed to play with uh, with with Jay and and Misha. Um, we had game together last year, and I said I really really want to game with you two again. I want to game with everybody here again, but um, I'd like to actually I said to everybody I'd, I would like to game with you all again, and and. Uh, Everybody kind of went their separate ways, and I like small groups, especially on stream. But I tend to like them at the table too. So I, I had been in email contact with them and said, you know, what what are you thinking? And we literally got onto Zoom and like went through our PDF libraries and went through our 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 book. Like you know, we're like sh showing footage of each to each other. Like, hey, I've got this in my bookshelf. Do you want to play this? And and there were a couple of really great ideas that I was like, I'll I'll play that. Yeah, let's do it. Um, but nothing really clicked. And then I was like, I don't know. I've got this like shitty old blog post about playing envoys uh, in Stars Without Number, you know, and trying to get star systems back into the 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 old Earth government. 
And Jay was like, I want to play that. And Misha was like, me too. And like, I think, I don't know if, if Jay has been vibing on this as much as me and Misha have, but we've been really, really vibing on the, on Star Trek discovery and, mm. uh, and, and yeah. So we're, 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 we're taking those vibes and we're bringing it to stars without number and we're seeing how it goes. And I have no idea. Uh, it's a, a game I've played a bit. I've GM'd a bit and I've played a bit, but I've never streamed it. And I've never played it with just two people and I have no idea how this is going to work. So we'll see. This might be, uh, I have no idea. I'm really like, I mean, when I say like a burning wheel, I have no idea. I'm like, oh, I'm pretty sure it's going to be a good game. I like burning wheel. I played a lot. I put a lot of hours into burning wheel and I have not put those hours into stars without number. I have not been hitting the heavy bag that hard, uh, with that system. So anyway, I'm excited. I'm excited to play some science fiction and I'm excited to, uh, I feel like with science fiction, just to see how weird it can get and and uh, what kind of aliens they're going to run into or, you know, whatever. It's going to yeah. be fun. Yeah, it's, it's going to be fun. It's, it's a good it's a good group to, to try it out with. I, I, yeah. am, I am impressed that you are trying to cover such heady ground in three sessions. I, I'm, I'm excited to see what you do, what you do with it. Yeah, I mean, we'll, we'll, our agreement is that after the second session, we'll get on a Zoom meeting and like talk about, hey, how's this going? Um, so yeah. we might get on a Zoom meeting and be like, and one person is like, eh, I'm kind of done. But if you two want to keep going, you can keep going. And right. so we bring another third person in. Um, we might say, hey, let's switch GMs. We might say, uh, you know, round table it. We might say, let's just stop this and play something else. I have no idea what, what's going to happen and and uh, with that either. So uh, I thought three was like a good number of sessions to kind of agree to. That makes and, sense. And then we'll figure it out uh, rather than be like, hey, let's play Burning Wheel until we're 90, which is kind of like what, what Sean and I are doing. <laughs> let's, 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 let's just play this until like, just so we have a good way to like, like figure out what our facial hair look like every two weeks. Like I just want to, yeah, like, you know, we just want partially, a partially to play the game and partially just because like, what was our facial hair looking like in 2020? Uh, yeah. I, I, I need, I need that. I need that YouTube record. So we've gone like full tilt. We've gone from, we've gone from clean shaven to full beards to mutton yeah. chops. I mean, we've, <laughs> yes. we've done it all. That's why we're um, all over. The, we are all over the place. Uh, all right. Well, speaking yeah. of playing burning wheel till we're 90, let's, Let's, uh, let's do it. Let's do it. Um, yeah, I think uh, you want to you want to read beliefs. Yeah, let's do it. Uh, you want you want to start it? Yeah, sure. Um, Arch uh, Archmage is a human title that means nothing. <laughs> the wheel of fire burns us all. Uh, nice. Yeah, I have lots of thoughts about that belief. But I'll, I'll talk more about it in play. Cool. Uh, a demon is poised to sit on the throne because I failed to unmask him. Man, I picked a way too like over the top font for this. <laughs> it's so ridiculous. It's it's like the 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 fantasy title font. It's like yeah. when they don't want when they don't want to go like full ridiculous fantasy lettering, but they still want to like grab your attention. This is the font they use, and right. it's totally ludicrous. But I kind of love it. Anyway, a demon is poised to sit on the throne because I failed to unmask him. I will unmask him, starting with freeing Tovar from his grasp. Interesting. Uh, that might be the one achievable thing that, that you've got on That might be the here. one achievable thing. That would be the one thing that I could actually do. Um, and I, I think I meant to say I will unmake him, uh, which is a bigger, a bigger. Uh, oh, interesting. Which is a bigger uh, 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 test. Um, yeah, wow. Uh, yeah. My, my, yes, my, 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 my goals go beyond, uh, people re revealing he's there, but you know, we'll see, maybe I can get, I can get to our free from his Uh, and the final one is the iron Lords massacre will not be forgotten. They will bury their own heads. Um, and yeah, that's, uh, that's a, that's a running, I, I, it's, a, it's a running theme with Nara about people taking responsibility uh, for things they do, particularly murder. Murder is a big thing. Murder is, murder is the thing that happens. And uh, and she's going to see it that they take some responsibility for uh, all the killing that they did. Um, yeah. And, and I feel like, I don't feel like, I mean, definitely, uh, you've got to bury your own heads is the... 
the mo unofficial motto of the of the game, right? It's, yeah, it's, it's, it's our tagline. Our, yeah, it's it's our you know, uh, you know, you play the Game of Thrones and you you win or you die. This is our this is this is ours. So good stuff. Yeah, awesome. Thank you. Uh, yeah, and uh, Judd was share Judd shared these beliefs out today and uh, somebody said yeah i don't know how you get persona off those beliefs and uh because they're not particularly actionable usually i have very like i believe this so therefore i will do that and at the end of the session if i've done that then you can say that that's accomplished and that's worth the persona and uh my response after thinking about it for a second was i'm not going for persona i'm going for deeds Ooh. so <laughs> if you're a burning wheel nerd you know what that means and if you're not i'm sorry <laughs> but uh yeah so cool. Let's see where that goes. Um, bah, bah, bah. That's it. Um, where do you want to, where do you feel like picking up, picking up? Uh, you think we should pick up right after next time? I think there were some things that were going to happen and I don't know if you want those to happen off screen. Uh, Nara was going to get a healer uh, to tend to her and uh, help her recover her. She has two light wounds um, and uh the other one was she asked for uh, some teacher of the School of Fire and Roth. And I, you know, that I'm not sure if that's someone else's in someone else's hands or if uh, I should make a circles roll and start working on working towards that. You know, if that's a good place to, to pick up. Um, yeah. Um, I mean, we could start there. Uh, if you want to make that circles roll, that's absolutely something we could do uh, okay. without a doubt. Without a doubt. Uh, is there a, you know, what are you thinking? Is it, is it, uh, is there a particular kind of wizard you have pictured in mind? Um, well, I know that, um, let me pull up the names. I know that, um, Natana, who yeah. is who is a, um, uh, a member, a council wizard. I know that Natana is practices art magic. I don't know what kind of art magic she practices. Mm, I don't know what school. Yeah. So yeah. she may or may not be qualified. But she offered to um, to teach you to teach me. Yeah. Um, yeah. Cool. Uh, Uh, yeah, so I think uh, so. Light wounds uh, for everybody who's you know excited about this on page four ninety three. Uh, <laughs> recovery from light wounds is an op requires an ob two health test. If successful, the pain fades immediately. If failed, the penalty remains for twenty four hours minus the fort exponent. Um, so in this case, it'd be twenty hours for me if that was the the case. Um, do you want me to go ahead and make that roll, or do you want to just say it's you know the next day and um, or do you think that the, these wounds would heal, would take longer to recover than normal ones because they're burns? Um, say those options for me again, Sean. I'm not sure I'm, I'm grokking them. Uh, do you want me to read the section out of the book or say the options that I was... That yeah, yeah, yeah. Say, say the options as you understand them. Oh, yeah. So uh, I think I can make a health test, ob2, right now. And yeah. if, if I succeed in that, then... Uh, the pain af after being tended to, then the pain of the wounds fields and they, the, the pain of the wounds go away and I lose the, I, the, I, I lose the, the die penalty. Otherwise yeah. it takes a full day or we could just say it's been a full day. It doesn't really matter whether I made the test or not. Um, because you know, it, even if I, yeah, fail, I it recovers in, in the day. Yeah, no, I feel like it's been a full day. It's been a full okay. day. We don't need to. We don't need to make that test, and I don't think time is of the essence here. Yeah, I didn't feel like it either. Um, I mean, you were when we last saw Nara. She was in Wheelholt proper, kind of like in a room set aside for like the Archmage's colleagues, um, mm -hmm. like in that kind of part of. I imagine like there's like a tower shaped area. Um, in Wheelholt that that is set aside for the Archmage. And I don't think you're in like the Archmage's room, right? Or their study where they sleep. But 
you're in a room where if you were a wizard friend of the archmage, that's where you would stay. Mm -hmm. um, or, or even if you were like, maybe even if you were an apprentice of the archmage, that's where you would stay. Right. So you're, you're in those kind of quarters and, and, you know, you, you went from a very dangerous situation to a pretty safe one. Like this is a pretty safe place. Okay. Uh, so yeah, I think, I think you're, you're good. I think let, let's get that circles roll. Um, I, I don't think Natana is a, uh, fire and wrath person. Yeah. Um, I'm sense. just not getting that vibe from her in general. Um, I think she's, I think she's probably earth and stability. Mm -hmm. that makes um, sense. and I'm going to, matter of fact, I'm going to cut and paste that and put it in my notes so that <laughs> so I've remember got it, it in the future so that I've got it somewhere. Um, even though all, all that's going to mean is I'm going to be like, why does it say earth and stability next to Natana's name? I have no effing idea. I have no memory of this place. Um, parentheses, school of earth and stability. Cool. Uh, but yeah, I, I think let's, let's circle up a new wizard. Yeah. Sounds I think good. Is, is what we need to do. Um, and I think I know one other council wizard's name, but I know nothing about them, which is, uh, um, uh, Yaka, uh, who is an old wizard member of the council. And okay. I, and I, I, that's from an old note, I think. Yeah. So, uh, I also remember I got I'm looking at an old note, astrology reading goat is rising wizard tower descending Lord of fire rising. Yeah. That's just that. I, I know where that's from. Cause I just re-listened to that. That is when that is the astrology reading you did before you made the, uh, before you made the uh, investment in in the in the village, mm, mm. The and village. like yeah, 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 and you did like uh, yeah, and you did like a whole reading. So wow, yeah. Wizard Tower descending is right. Um, yeah, excellent. Uh, I think Prince Bolnar the second um, uh, asked me what what do you need. Uh, and I said, um, and I said, uh, um, I need, I need a, a wizard to teach me the school of fire and wrath. And it sounded to me like he was going to try and help. So okay. um, do you, uh, given that he's the one who chooses the council members, I think he has connections with them. Is it reasonable that he would give me helping on, uh, on this? I'm yeah, sorry. I can, I can deal with that. Okay. Excellent. So yeah, I can deal with that. And I think like normally a dwarven prince would not have access to human wizard circles. Right. But I think the Prince of Wheelholt is special and strange and probably has traits. Yeah, that... I was gonna say I think he has a trait that that, that makes him yeah. like circle wizards. Cause... Yeah, it's just like wizard friend or or you know, wheelholt uh you know, a student of the archmage or something like that. Yeah. yeah. All right. Um, so yeah, take a take a bonus die for for the prince. Excellent. Um, broad occupation or same life path? Uncommon a specific. I think it's a you know, it's probably the same life path, right? You're looking for. I'm in. A, I'm, I have a wizard life path, so I'm I'm in. I'm uh, so I think it's reasonable to. Cool. Uh, I think we're looking at higher rank or station. So plus yeah. two because you're still an apprentice. Yep. Um, disposition common to the circle, I think is good. Um, and I don't think like you're not in dire need, like it doesn't, you don't need it right now in the middle of trouble. So I yeah. think, uh, I think we're looking at a, uh, plus three ob. Okay. So that's ob four. Uh, um, I mean, no, ob total plus a three ob. Yeah. Oh, a three ob. Okay. Excellent. Oh, right. 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 Just, Cause it's just plus two for that. Okay. Excellent. Yeah. Hey, I might be able to hit that. What do yeah. you know? Yeah, I'm glad um, we got to the book right away. Let's just do it. Let's get to it. I know, I know. First, first first things first. Let's uh let's get to the book. Um uh all right. I have I have two reputations. Um one is Elf Friend. I don't think that's applicable here. Um the other one is Burned by the Wheel which is an infamous reputation. And I don't right. remember how infamous reputations work. I don't remember if they, they, they can still be rolled, but they have, uh, 
they can totally still be rolled. Yes. Okay. Character has an infamous or hostile reputation. Uh, like, okay. Um, okay. So yeah, they can be rolled, but they can also add. If it if it if it works against me, my reputation adds to my op. So if if burned by the wheel is a bad thing, then it's plus two op. If it's a good thing, then it's plus two d. And if it's a not applicable thing, then it's just like any other resolution. It's no effect. Right. So. Right. Okay, so yeah, so uh, what do you think? Do you think being burned by the wheel is uh, applicable here? And if so, in a good way? <laughs> and I'm looking for a, a, a wizard of fire? Um, I think it's a good thing, yeah. Okay, excellent. But I think like you're gonna, it's gonna affect things. Like putting that in there means you're going to get someone who thinks that's a good thing, right? So... Mm -hmm. that's what I mean, you want that's what you're going to get yeah I don't think I. so I think Nara is working primarily through intermediaries and she's going to tell Bezor and she's going to tell Bolnar I mean she told Prince Bolnar like right when she first recovered like you know he, he asked her you know what is it you need to do this again you know she told him her intent which was to take the grab hold of the burning wheel and find the demon that that um that that caused this massacre and he seemed to be in support of that um and asked what the next step are so i imagine that nara is doing this via i don't think nara is like going down to shadow holt and knocking on doors i think she's asking bolnar to you know have his scribes send letters to some of the wizards and see if they'll you know if they'll, yeah. if they'll help um so yeah I, i'm pretty sure her there's no way for her to be inconspicuous in this, so I'm gonna I'm gonna use that that reputation. Cool. All right, so I'm rolling um, circles, and I'm taking three uh, bonus dice: two from reputation and one from Bolnar's help. Cool. Three. No Martha. Ob three. No dice at all. Look at all them ones. Um. I did get one six. Yeah, I'll spend a fate on that. Okay. The chance of getting two more successes on one die is low, but. <laughs> God. <laughs> nope. I got one success. So you failed. Know. Okay. I, totally, yeah. Okay, okay. Interesting. Yeah. Interesting. Um, cool. So Channel, channeling my Bina here and just lots yeah. of yeah. Um, interesting. That's really interesting. Cool. So I think I uh, they put out letters and. Do we want to say like what you've been, what you're doing in like the the weeks in between? Like, you know, do you want to, do we want to wait for that result? Because I feel like it's going to take a little time, right? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I think, um, I think. Is there like uh, some study? Is there some studying you want to do? Is there like what? Yeah, I think while that's in 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 progress. Um, uh, uh, I want to, um, hmm, hmm, I, I, I think, uh, studying absolutely makes, makes sense. Uh, I also think that Nara would be, um, I also think Nara would be, uh, trying to reach Tovar, um, right to see if she's still there. Um, yeah. Tovar isn't one of her relationships though. So she can't just like immediately find her, but I think that she would go looking for Tovar to see if, you know, once she was feeling able, how, how far, it's not far from Shadow Hole to Wheel Hole, right? It's, it's, it's pretty close. Yeah, 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 oh yeah, yeah, yeah. No, it's, 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 it's a 
five minute walk. Yeah, 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 yeah. yeah, yeah. Okay, great. That, that's that, that's what I thought. I, they were they were close by. So, um, I think we could say that most of it's spent, you know, getting a. Uh, um, maybe practicing on on uh spending with practice time on uh reading and okay. um you know and i don't know how much i i haven't i don't have the practice times in front of me right now but uh, you know she might be practicing reading and practicing um singing the recitation of the ages um uh i think or i mean or do you want to like before you uh go before you find while you're waiting do you want to like immediately jump on jump on finding Tovar? Like, do you want to just like do you want to just make that circles test and see if you can you you, you can find her? Yeah, yeah, that sounds great. Let's do that because like she was involved in like you know a murderous act of war. So like I don't think she's hanging around in Shadowholt, but I also don't know if she got captured or not. Right. So that's a possibility. So let's yeah. find out through yeah, yeah, that yeah. role. That's what great. I'm saying. Cool. Um, because I actually was thinking like, huh, did Tovar get captured? Is that more interesting? How do I like, you know, I'm going after these beliefs, right? So that's what I'm thinking about is like, how, what is the best way to go after these beliefs? And I love being able to put it to the dice and be like, well, you know what? I'm not going to make that decision. Your circles test will make that decision. And yeah. I've got a good idea for what happens if you fail. So, um, so do you have an occupation or life path in the night's? I do. I have it in the in the soldiers, uh, which is okay. The, uh, yeah, because I started with Tovar. I, I took I took a life path with her. Okay, which is um, let's see. Uh, uh, apt pupil is the uh, okay is the, is the life path okay. I took with her, and uh, yeah, it's in the soldiering. Um, it's in it's in the. Uh, oh, I had uh, no idea. Yeah, apt pupil is in is in the soldier setting. It, well, because it's um, because it is in uh, Codex, it's flexible. It can be in a couple different ones. Okay, um, but okay. I I tried I I was looking at how to migrate between all those, and Soldier is the only one that would that a supplicant would lead into that would Got it. work. So I I. I studied very hard at the life path leads to figure out a way to go uh, village supplicant cool. at people rogue wizard. And that's soldier was the way to do it. Yeah. Um, so I think this one's going to be ob four. Okay. Um, just because you're looking for someone very specific, we know who they are. Um, so yeah, ob four. Awesome. Um, I think I, uh, because I know their name, I think I get plus one D. My Sounds goal. good. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That makes sense. And yep. um, I connected with Tovar through uh, the Fel Nightingale. Like she was the one who put me in Tovar's care. Is okay. it fair for me to use my elf friend reputation in this case? Do you think that's relevant to Tovar? No, I don't. Okay. All right. Um, I'm not going to be able to make this. Um, that's okay. I'm going to okay. roll three dice to try and hit ob four. Okay. Um, do is Bezor around and would he help me? He is my contact. Um, is this the kind of thing yeah, he would? He he would help you. He would like ask around and find out if, if she had been captured or, or like where the the Ironlands prisoners have been kept. Yeah, absolutely. Okay. Awesome. Um, okay, wonderful. Um, yeah, so let's roll that. I've got two help dice, one for her name and one for uh, help and no Artha and Ob4. It's possible? No, not anywhere near. Uh, and no, not even a six there to explode. So, got it. Uh, yeah, man, Bina, That's welcome, tough room. welcome, welcome back, Bina. Uh, cool. So I think Bazor comes back to your room and says, uh, "Tovar was not captured. Um, she left with the rest of the Ironlanders and got the hell out of Shadowholt." Uh, after the murders, uh, 
there is, you know, and I think this is like, you know, within a couple of days, there is a group that is going to try to, to catch them before they can get to the nearest Ironland castle. Um, but they'll be riding hard and I think that would be a tough, you know, if you want to ride with them, you can, but they're not going there. They're looking for vengeance. They're not going to talk to old friends. Many of those Iron Landers deserve vengeance. Tovar was possessed by a demon. At least that's my understanding. Uh, when I met her, she was she was possessed by a demon when I saw her, and I'm not going to hold her accountable for for what she did under his under his possession. But the rest of them, there's only one demon as far as I know in this story. The rest of them just followed their ambitions. Um. Uh, and and I think she like kind of shoves some things into a ruck, you know, into a rucksack, uh, into a, into a, a job bag and says, uh, if you can get me on that, if you can get me on that caravan, um, that's where I want to be. I may be the only thing that keeps her alive and, uh, I need answers. I need to know where that demon is now. He may have, he may be in anyone in shadow Holter or anywhere else for that matter. He clearly can hop, can, can change his hosts at, at, at as well. Cool. She sort of shudders at that, remembering being possessed herself. Yeah. yeah. Of course. And that's fantastic. Yeah, I think uh, the... The... You know... He he says I'll I'll put you in touch with them. You know they're they're getting their things together right now. So if you're going to do this, you better get your stuff together and and head down. Um, and I think he he says you know uh, he tells you where they're gathering. Awesome. Um, and uh, yeah. yeah, yeah. And he says yeah. he says you know he hands you your staff and says good luck. Thank you, Vesar. I will. Um... Uh, I will, uh, oh, oh, hopefully I'll return soon. And, um, yeah. And she, she gives him a hug and she screeches yeah. Fennec and, um, and, uh, she, I think he can see on her that there's a mix of concern for a friend and a lot, a lot of anger. And it's not exactly sure what's going to win out. She's yeah. young. She's mad. She has a lot of. She she doesn't. It to her it doesn't matter that these men were tricked by it, if they were tricked by these people were were tricked by a demon like they did it they did it by choice. Um, yeah, yeah. They did these yep. things, and and she is not in a forgiving mood, but she's also not like in a murderous mood. I don't know. There's a lot going on in her face, and yeah. um, she hugs him and um, sort of grabs hold of the staff, glad that she's she still has it. And, um, and, uh, um, and, and yeah, it makes her way down. Um, you know, but I think takes like the, the bandages off her hands and, and, um, and, and yeah. stretches them, squeezes them and feels, you know, see, sees this, this, the skin is still tender, but it's no longer aching. And, and, uh, yeah. And I think um, you're, you know, yeah. you're going to have scars there for the rest of your life. Right. You know? Oh yeah. Absolutely. Yeah. Cool. And I think where they're gathering is the uh, the series of towers where the gold lands uh, or the weird lands nobles are. Mm -hmm. um, and you know that like, you know, Kazir, who, who was the other person who, who wanted to become an archmage, uh, uh, you know, he died. Kaji, Kaji. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, Kaji, you know, died. So like, you know that like that place got hit um, mm -hmm. or was involved in the fight somehow. And uh, yeah, that's where they're gathering. Um, and I think, so Sean, do you have this in your notes? Uh, Cause I don't, um, there were a bunch of nobles I described to you when you were sneaking around. Yes. Uh, I can, I can so, tell you something of them. I, I, I do have notes. Cool. Yeah. So there the was a, what, 
there was a woman who was wearing some sigil on her, and I don't remember what it was. She was in a red dress. She had a bronze and golden griffin clasp on her black cape. Oh, that's so dope. Cool. Cool, cool, cool. <laughs> oh, that's all mean? I needed to know. That is all I needed to know. That's fantastic. Yeah. Uh, that's great. You want to know the other three? I have notes on them, too. A little, like, one-liners, if that's helpful. Um, hold on. Yes. Uh, uh, weird lands. There we go. Woman from griffin valley cool i'll name her uh there was a guy with a dragon right yes uh he was a muscular man with a gray and uh, uh all in black and gray uh he had a gray beard and was like just emblazoned with dragon Every, everything was dragon, yeah. dragon that and he really wanted to fight he was like yeah let's 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 get in the middle of the fight cool um ready to fight uh and I'll name her something cool. Nice. And uh, cool, cool. Um, I, and uh, and then there was Kezef, who was Kaji's mentor. Yep. Yep. I found I found my notes, so I I got it. Thank you. Awesome. The, the Griffin the, the Griffin is what I needed to hear. Right, so and yeah, he had a staff that like floated on its own. Yes. Yeah. Um, you get to. The uh, you get to the courtyard. Um, it is uh, it is bustling, and and squires and and servants and pages are running to and fro. Uh, there are you know these war horses that are being packed with with goods and. Uh, and I think war horses just look different than other fucking horses, right? They, mm -hmm. they, they move different. They're built differently. Uh, they're treated very differently than the other horses. And uh, I think the the guards like look at you as you walk up, and I think they they stop you, yeah, and say, uh, "I think this is the same place that I went to meet. Um, this is the same tower that I met." I met, I, I, I overheard the conversation yeah. and where I, I met or I didn't meet, but I connected with Isa. Yeah. yeah. And last and I, time I they let me in because I had my staff and they're just like, Oh, you're a wizard. Yeah. Go ahead. It was, this was before. Yeah. Like, they're, yeah. they're clearly like antsy right now. And they're like, I'm yeah. sorry. The, the, the weird lands towers are closed. And, uh, um, the, and like, the woman, the, the woman from Griffin's Vale, uh, is like dressed is dressed to 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 hit the road mm -hmm. like she's got like leather leggings on and like a tunic um with her with her with her you know griffin griffin on it and uh and she's like in her chain and she's got like a coif that she's pulled down and like has it like around her neck just so like the heat isn't on her all the time. Mm -hmm. And uh, and she's clearly like in charge and like supervising shit. And she sees the guards and she like sees you and like recognizes you and says, uh, the real touch to- Seen me before, but she probably knows who I am. Well, you I know. mean, she she literally talked about you, right? So like yeah. she, she knows who you are. Yeah, exactly. And she says, uh, she says, I am, uh, you're the wheel touched apprentice. Um, and uh, I, I I look down uh, at my hands and I say, yes, I'm Nara. I am I am the Duchess Freja. F R E J A. Um, How can I help you? Uh, and Nara knows no etiquette, but she remembers stories of her mom trying to learn how to bow to an Ironlander and like getting it super wrong. Like her mom tells her the stories of like, I tried to bow and I didn't do it wrong. So she like sort of like looks like she's gonna bow and then she just gives up on it. She's like, nope, I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna try and play the etiquette game. I don't know it. And so she just like takes her staff and like stabs it into the ground onto the cobblestone. So it clacks. And yeah. And she says, um, you're short. I've heard that Kaji died in the, in the, in the raids and you, you have one less wizard among you. I would like to travel with your party to find the Ironlanders who did this. And I can aid you. 
And she's like, she, I don't know if the woman came, if the Duchess like came to intercede or if she's like shouting, but she's like having to like shout over the guards. Like, yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, I think she, she makes like an almost imperceptible nod to the guards and the guards like halberds come back to straight, you know, come back to, to perpendicular and are no longer blocking your way. And she, uh, she, she gestures for you to, yeah, to I, walk, I walk through them. There's something about that that feels very much like action castle, like say the right thing to the guard and then, and then the halberds yeah, are yeah, yeah. lost, right? Um, yeah, Action she, she, castle. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, so yeah, so I knock, I Nara walks over, sort of, she's sort of taking in the, she's sort of taking in the, um, the, the surroundings to, to sort of see, she's clearly got like her travel lace sack over her shoulder, like she's ready to travel well. And then she walks up to the, to the Duchess. Um, and, uh, and she said, Paul Tevis is in the house. Paul Tevis what? and the award-winning broadcaster, Paul Tevis. Oh my goodness. <laughs> we got to step up our game. Let's go uh, read some more rules out of the book. Uh, yeah, yeah let's definitely do that. I'm going to do some funny voices in just a second. Uh, I'm sorry, Sean, I interrupted you because I was excited to see Paul. No, I haven't seen good. Him for a thousand hey, years. Um, yes. Uh, if anyone doesn't know, Have Games Will Travel uh, was the was the podcast that got me playing lots of mini games. Uh, Part of why I'm here right now is because Paul Davis. Indeed. So, um, uh, yeah, Nora walks up and says, um, "You knew about the Ireland. You knew that there was war about to be waged within the Ireland by the Irelanders before it happened. Um, you're the most informed person in all of Shadowholes about um, about that." And she's totally saying things that she overheard. Cause she's like, if this woman knows things about me, I'm going to just say, I know things about you. And right, right, right. I know shit. You don't know how I know game. Um, and, uh, so, uh, and she says, you're, you're the best equipped to find, um, the Knights of the Ironlands and, uh, and I, and I want to go with you. They deserve, um, th there's, uh, uh, justice needs to be served. Hmm. Very well. Uh, you'll ride with me. We're Thank both you. light. And uh, yeah, I think. Uh, how long do you think it will take our, your caravan to catch them? How, how much lead do they have on us? They've got the better part of a day. Um, and she looks like there's no secret that she's a wizard, right? That's like not a thing at all. That's nothing at all. She says, um, I studied the art of school of wind and change. I'll take the form of a bird and scout and find find them. Uh, if, if they're on the open if they're on the open road, I'll be able to spot them. Like I said, I will bring I will bring aid to your caravan. Very well. Yeah, and she's never been so like I'm just going to talk about using magic and like flaunt it in like she's always like a little coy about talking about it because she doesn't know how people are going to react. But like, yeah, Nora's big mad right now. And also like, uh, yeah, want, wants to impress her. So she's maybe, maybe, maybe flinging things at her that more than is, more than is strictly a good idea to do. But Cool. Yeah. And I think, uh, Freja, you know, the, the the Duchess of 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 the you know, of the Griffins Vale um, puts you you know you, you're kind of like seated behind her, um, mm -hmm. and I think she's 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 uh, she's little. I think she's like five three, mm -hmm. and uh, and and yeah, um, I was taller than her then because I yeah know. yeah and and uh, she she gets up on the horse, makes sure that you're situated. Um, one of her one of her pages hands her a, a hands her a spear and she kind of puts it in the in the crook of her arm and uh, and the they kind of gather all the actually as I slam my mic into the, into the <laughs> keyboard they as I get excited uh, they she gathers like the horses together and it's only about six seven it's about seven people and um, uh, 
She says, everyone here has friends and loved ones who were either killed or wounded in the cowardly attack. We have a wizard traveling with us and everyone kind of looks at you, you know, under their hoods and, and, and you realize like everyone here looks fucking ragged. Like some of the people look hurt. Um, and, uh, uh, and, and you notice like uh, a cut on um, Frege's hand, on Frege's hand that she's holding the spear, uh, like, you know, stitched from the battle uh, yeah. and, uh, you know, still kind of seeping blood. And she said, everyone here has been hurt or, or been, or, you know, we don't, we all have a reason to be here. Uh, my, Cousin is the is the finest hunter among us. Jacob, uh, what's the plan? And I think like Jacob uh, is a is a young uh, a young hunter, and he says uh, we're going to ride hard through some goat paths. We're not going to take to the road because I don't think they took the road. Uh, we're going to ride hard for a through you know for the rest of today and into and, and through the night. Um, at night, we're going to be careful. There'll be a full moon tonight. We're still going to be careful. And make sure we don't lose any horses and break any legs. If someone's horse goes out, they get left behind, and the rest of us move on. Uh, and he's, he, he nods to you and he says, uh, wizard, you said you could change shape and take to the skies? I can. I also know, remember stories of my mother taking a goat path to Tovenant Torin. And uh, if, I remember, if I remember her story as well, I might, I might even recall the way there. Which is hilarious because totally happened. That is exactly how uh, nice. Box and Vina on their little wagon made their yeah. way. To Tevin and Torin on some, on some. Yep, he says that's a good many. That's a good while south of here. Your mm. your geography is a little off. Mm. What um, do you think they they ride toward? I believe that they're riding towards the the nearest castle to here, the most northern Ironland castle, uh, just south of the Iron God. Of the Iron God, hold fast. So at dawn tomorrow, I'll ask you to turn into a uh, chain shape and, and make sure we're on the right path. I'll, I'll um, yeah, she nods. Now is Jacob the, the, the guy with the, is he the, 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 the the dude was all decked in, in dragon attire. He is he is not. Um, okay. the the guy in dragon attire does not appear to be here. Um, okay. there is there is a knight with a, a dragon tabard on. Okay. But uh, but that that guy is not here, and you don't know if like is he dead? Is he hurt? Right. Is he, like you know you you have no idea like what what the what the what the deal is with him. Um. Yeah, I think Nara is totally, you know, she's, um, yeah, she, she's kind of not used to being in this sort of structured, orderly, hierarchical situation, but she's not going to fight it yeah right now right like that'll make sense so you know she wants she wants to be smart and be like the, the kid who knows stuff but you know she's like oh yeah okay um, yeah, yep. I'll, I'll report all I see. Yep. And I think at, at that, um, you know, servants are still like packing things on horses last minute. And then, you know, you're all, you you all go. Um, some of the knights probably have extra horses. Um, but it's, it's about seven people and about 12 horses total. Right. Uh, and they take off uh south and west um you know not going along the jeweled road 
uh, taking like these little dwarven goat paths <laughs> through the hills uh, that 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 lead you through um, you know past old ruined uh, you know dwarven forts uh, that 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 Wheel Holt and the Iron Gods probably have feuded over for centuries and uh, and true to Jacob's word they don't stop uh, they they go they they slow down uh, at night to make sure that no one gets hurt. And uh, I think we'll roll a, a die of fate just because things go fine. Uh, cool. They they ride through the night. And then... Uh, There's the thing I would like to do during the day while we're riding. Yeah, what's that? Um, so I've been looking at the, for no particular reason, I was looking at the possessed trait you know, just fun times uh, because it talked about, um, uh, let's see, which is on uh, page uh, 341. Yeah. And um, it, uh, let's see, was it in here? Um, uh, that uh, uh, the, the possessed trait can be uh, seen um, via aura reading, and oh, did you, yep. that's what I want to do to all these folks because I don't trust as much as I'm going along with them. I don't trust that this demon hasn't isn't playing both sides against each other and isn't um, isn't trying to uh, uh, you know possess one of them to chase after them and, and make things even worse. Um, yeah, and so. Yeah, so that's what I want to do. Cool. Uh, let's let's roll some dice on that. Yeah. Uh, my goodness, I thought I saw the ob for it, but it doesn't show it here. Um, so I'll just look at oral reading. Yeah, it should be the, the ob should the ob should be an oral reading, I would think. Yeah. Page two fifty eight. Read an aura. Read an aura trait like aura of fear. Reading mood. Uh, seeing a character trait. Seeing a die or call on trait. So, what kind of trait is possessed? Possessed is a is a is a um, uh, is a die trait. So I think cool. it's, so it's obstacle three. three. Yeah. Yep. Uh, let me just double check though because they might get an aura. I, th I thought that's I think what I saw, which might only be of one. Um, uh, a possessed, also possessed characters, aura for oral reading will show the additional traits. Oh no, okay, it doesn't say that they get like an aura, like an aura malevolence. Okay, excellent. Um, I've got plenty of time to do this, so yeah. I'm going to be focused. I'm gonna, I'm gonna do, do it carefully. I'm gonna yeah. take the ride while I'm sitting on the back. I'm not. I don't have to guide anything. All I have to do is hold on. I mean, yep, it's yep. not that easy. But so I'm gonna do this carefully. And um, I also, you know, especially as, as night is falling, I am going to, uh, uh, you know, n not just their aura, but how their aura corresponds to the constellations, I think is going to give me information as well. So I'm going to fork in astrology. Awesome. And I think, so I think if you fail, you are going to misread an aura and, and think that someone is possessed by the devil who isn't, which, you know, is a pretty good, as, as, as fantasy mistakes go, it's a pretty classic one. Like that's that's yeah. something that has definitely been it's been done a couple times. It's been done a couple times. All right, here we go. Uh, I got two helping dice. I got no Artha. Oh, this three. Oh shit! Finally. Got it. Got it. Got it. Yeah. So. And, uh, oh wow! Actually. Oh darn it! Oh no! Circles didn't do it. Uh, this took out two dice because it still had my wounds, I hadn't taken those out. So let me get out the wounds, but I mean, it, it's it's fine. I, I rolled fantastic is what ended up happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, so um, you, you, note, you note that no one here is possessed um, by a devil, but you notice that Jacob has like a really weird, like he's got some kind of, you know, the only way you can describe it is he's possessed by some kind of a spirit, but 
it's not quite that like he has some kind of relationship to a spirit that is unusual mm. does it seem red reticent uh reminiscent excuse me of the time that i let the tourmaline spirit possess me for a time like like a like a lingering effect spirit buddy <laughs> uh maybe maybe Okay. Um, it, yeah, it's not quite like, like he was possessed and now like you can tell that there's some remnant of it there. Um, it's something more complicated, some kind of connection that, that you just aren't sure of. Hmm. Huh. Yeah. So throwing that out there. And All I, right. I think, All right. I, I, I think, um, you know, making sure you like lay eyes on everyone and, and, uh, and, you know, see, give them a good look. Uh, and I think the other thing that I'll give you for that success, even though, uh, rather than just being like, Nope, nobody is that like these folks are, are, are feeling grim and they are ready to do fucking murder. Like it is yeah. in their heart. Yeah. Uh, they are, they are pissed. Like someone kicked down their door and killed their friends and their family. Does, and, and sorry, didn't mean to cut you off. Go on. Nope, that's it. That's it. That's all. Is, is you can see the murder in their heart. Um, does uh, Duchess Freya, Freja, Freja, like a Freja? Yep. Freja. Does Freja? Does Duchess Freja have that same sentiment? Is she just as uh, hell bent as the rest? She is more measured than the rest, but she's totally, she's ready to kill some other fuckers. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but like, you feel like it's, it's more of a rage in other people. And in her, it's. A determination. Yeah. Yeah. It's. Yep. Um, yeah. I. After I've done this, if it's okay, I want to um, uh, speak with her. You know, from you know, from the saddle. Um, is is that yeah. is it possible while we're on the road? Um, yeah, sure. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Totally. Yeah. Uh, so yeah, I I um, and I I say, um, uh, Duchess, uh, how much do you know of um, of spirits and and, and demons? I'm a, I'm a weird lander. We, we have more of a relationship with those things than gold or iron usually does. Uh, most noble houses have a court sorcerer. Some, some well-to-do knights have one too. Good. We Good. employ, we employ a lot of wizards. Good. Then this won't, this won't surprise you uh, or, the, or, 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 Maybe it will surprise you, but this hopefully you, uh, um, you you'll you'll appreciate it. One of the Ironlanders, one of the ones that we seek now, still one of the Ironlanders that that led the attack was possessed by a demon. I do not know its name. Um, uh, I I believe that that demon is the reason is was the one who instigated this, uh, and I believe that he's a threat to anyone in his presence. They travel with their devil. They, they traveled with him to Shadowholt. I don't know what happened after that. Hmm. So they could be traveling with their devil. They could That's good be. to know. That's good to know. I would, uh, I would like an opportunity if that's the case to, um, if, I would like an opportunity, if that's the case, to uh, find the one possessed and uh, free her. I, I all, all of the men who acted on their own volition, I have no cares for. And I wish you to me measure justice out to them, however you would. But for the for the one among them who was possessed in this action, I would seek uh, mercy for her and uh, aid in exercising, in, 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 uh, freeing her from this from this demon's grasp 
And I'm, I guess you know who this person is? She, uh, we both do. Her name is Tobar. You know, is, you that, know. Is, is that why you're traveling with us? To seek uh, mercy for Tovar? I didn't lie to you when I said I wanted the Ironlanders to, to, to receive justice. I, I, both of, I, I want to save her if it is possible, but I, do have, I have no, I wish for no clemency for the rest of them. And I will aid you in, in apprehending, or if it comes to it, uh, sailing them. But I would very much like to, to free her if that is possible. We'll see what happens. It's going to be a battle. Have you been in one before? Nope. And I think like right as you say nope, you know, the the, the sky starts to turn a lighter blue. And uh and Jacob is like going around and checking on folks. And uh I think he he stops. He says, Let's stop. And he's like, everyone check, check for you know, he, he's making everyone check the horse's shoes. Yeah. And uh, and then uh, a squire is going around and giving everyone, you know, uh, dried trail food and, and some water. And uh, and he says, you know, if you have to, if you've got to, if you've got to do your business, if, you, if, if, if you've right. got to make water or leave your business, leave it now. Yeah. Uh, like, now he goes and pees behind a tree. Yeah. Cause and I think like when you're done, um, when you're done, Jacob is waiting for you and he says, are you ready to take flight? Uh, uh, yes. Let me leave my things. Uh, let me place my things with, uh, the Duchess on the, on the Duchess saddlebags. Um, they won't come with me. And I go and I think she's a weird lender. I would be amazed. She's, she's probably got a, a place for a spear. So I like, I like, yeah. So I imagine I like sheath my staff in a in like a in like a yeah. like in like a leather rope, and I yeah. I put you know, and I and I say uh, you know I say um, I'm going to go back behind that bush. Please collect my things after you see me take flight. Uh, but while I'm while I'm putting my staff there, and I say uh, I like put my hand on her leg, which who knows if that's an offense or not. But I put my hand on her leg to get her attention, and I tell her uh, the good news is the demon hasn't uh, the demon hasn't changed hosts and is not possessing any of your own. And I kind of like, yeah, I, I want her to know that I can sense him and also maybe give her some relief that, you know, he's not, he's not present. Um, yeah, yeah. Yeah. She, she's relieved that you're paranoid enough to check, I think is like the, mm. like the vibe you get. She like, like nods in like, yeah, that's cool that you checked. Like that's a, that's a baller move. Uh, and then, uh, yeah. Um, you, 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 I think, you know what do they? What do uh, my old undergrad pagan friends used to say? Skyclad. So you're like, you know, uh, are you yeah. are you like naked? Are you naked behind a bush, basically? Well, I think I. Well, I told them I want you to collect my things. I think when I turn into a bird, what happens is all Nara's clothes are going to collapse to the ground, right? Like if she was going to turn into a bear, yeah. she should get naked first, so she doesn't destroy. Yeah, got it. Got it. Yeah, yeah, got it. And cool. uh, and uh, yeah, I am going to cast because it is in my. Uh, it is in my uh, spell book. No, it is in my um, uh, on the feathers of a sparrow, um, which is uh, I've cast once before. Um, I'm going to go ahead and, and do that. Um, uh, and. I think because the casting time is normally very short, being careful here, even though we're all in a big rush, it, we're not in we're not in split second kind of rush. So I think yeah. um, being careful here makes sense, as well as watching the stars. So I'm going to uh, do it carefully and um, for in astrology. Yeah, and I think like before you like go behind the bush, Jacob says like we're going to be heading due south and due west. Uh, you know, and he, he like points to like a hill, uh, like a, a, a group of hills on the horizon. Yeah. And he, says, he says, there's a ruined tower there. Um, we should be somewhere around there by the time by like midday. So if you, if you need to find us, that's, that's one way to, that's one way that, that, that that's one 
landmark, if that helps. Yeah, I think Nara does the translation of what south and west and over that hill means, and she says, uh, "You'll be um, under the under the stars of the two lovers. Um, I'll find you there." Uh, that's how I'm forking in astrology. You even describe it right now. That you know, there's a constellation. Got it. Uh, and if that's okay with you, or me just making yeah, it yeah, up, yeah, I'm, you, you can you can always fork in. Con uh, like you can always well, work that in. You always can, but also like I don't know if you're if if you feel fine with me just. Uh, I'm I'm totally down with it. I think it's cool. Excellent. Okay. All right. Sorcery. Hopefully, this is an easy peasy one. I've got three helping dice. One because I have the name. One from astrology. One from um, doing it carefully. And I will um, consider the first die the astrology die in case it yeah. explodes upwards or downwards. And it's all yeah. three to do a. Uh, Oh, no. <laughs> oh, no. Okay, well, the first die wasn't a one, so that's good. Um, it's an open-ended skill, so let me spend one fate to reroll one of those traders. Oh, Jeez, shit. Well, we sorcery. Why you do me wrong? Gosh, darn it. I was like, oh, I got this. Oh, God. All right, I failed if I won. Eight zillion dice. No love. Oh, man. Um, the GM That's twists not. the intent of the spell, so that is an unintended and unhappy effect. The unintended effect could be the original effect is not what was planned for, or the original spell doesn't activate at all. Birds fly out of your mouth. Devils peel themselves from your walls, or the house catches fire, etc. The only limit here is how evil your GM feels like being. Um, cool. Or the GM may apply an obstacle penalty equal to the margin of failure. The hindrance has the same duration and breadth as the intended spell. Um, oh, man. What to do? Yeah, that's uh, I, I, I was, I like, I turned to the consequences of, of failing art magic just because I, I thought, well, you know, you'll 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 probably make it. I'll probably okay. make it. I've got eight dice to get three three successes. I'm 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 good on this. Yeah. Um. Let me make yeah. sure my wound penalty wasn't being applied there. No, it was not. I cleared it. Was it was not. Yeah. So I I mean I think you just tax yourself. I think you just kind of exhaust yourself. Okay. Um, so uh, you have to pass a fort test with the obstacle equal to the obstacle of the spell. The margin of failure temporarily reduces fort. If fort is reduced to zero, the character is incapacitated. Cool. Um, all right, let's do it. So it's uh, it the fort test is equal to the margin of failure, you said? No. Uh, it's equal to the ob of the spell? Equal to the obstacle of the spell, yeah. Okay. All right, let's do it. Fort, no help. No worth a ob three. All right, I well, I got a six. I got two successes, and I got a six in there, and I got fate, so I'm gonna spend it. Okay. Um, <sighs> rough night. It it is. No. <laughs> All right. Okay. So I think. Uh, I'm taxed by one. Is that right? Because yeah. I missed a yeah. one. Okay. Yeah. All right. Um, cool. So your Ford is taxed one. Yeah. Um, and I think I uh, you like you don't quite black out, but you definitely like fall to your hands and knees, and you hear uh you know, you hear the company that you wrote in, like they're, they're gone. They right away. Um, they're assuming that you're going to like fly ahead of them and go find, you know, Intel on these Ironlanders and the Weirdlanders, like when you kind of like collect yourself, the Weirdlanders are gone. And, and you're there with nothing. Wow. 
That is wild. Um, yeah, I think I think Nara's like, what's wrong with me? She's terrified that touching the wheel had somehow. This is the first time she's used magic since she touched the wheel. Yeah, she felt all that power surging through her, and um, is is. I mean, I think she, I think she starts crying, but it's like, it's not like helpless sobs. It's like angry, like, you know, she starts like ripping like grass tufts out of the ground. And, yeah. And, um, and kind of, uh, you know, kind of beats at the ground, um, uh, trying to figure out what went wrong, why she couldn't cast this spell why why uh you know what what went wrong um and you know i think she you know tries it again and tries to like summon it up and this feels like the kind of uh i don't know it just feels empty and weak like yeah yeah from it um yeah talk about being stuck yeah. um Wowza. Um, I think she, I think she calls out, you know, hello. Right. You know, right. they're gone. Um, yeah. Yeah. So the let it ride rule says, you know, if I'm remembering, I'm not pulling it up, but you know, it's like, if you, if you, if you win a roll, if you succeed a roll, you succeed at it. If you fail a roll, you fail at it. There's no, there's no trying again. Right. Um, unless right. circumstances change. Um, well, I mean, it could be argued that like losing a fort is a circumstances. Change. That's what I'm saying. Cause I'm wondering like the consequence has been sort of suffered. So yes. I, I'm wondering if that's enough to be like, you know, I think, Nara definitely lost time. She's definitely exhausted. Yeah. Like she doesn't do it immediately, but she's like w stomping around naked, <laughs> real, real mad. Uh, yeah. And uh, tries to remember, you know, what um, what Bezor taught her about wind and change, and finally, like after like a moment of frustration, like puts her hand out in the wind. To like feel the breeze, remember the feel, remembers the feeling of that same breeze, like lifting her up and carrying her away. Yeah, and listens to bird songs and is gonna try it again. You know, it's gonna, okay. Uh, yeah, because <laughs> yeah, um, does that does that does that feel right to you? Does that feel? I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. No, that that makes sense to me. That I, I like it. Yeah. All right. All right. Let's see. I don't think the fort uh, tax. Um, I don't I think, think it fort, affects. It just yeah. affects fort, right? It's just her fort is effectively yeah. free right now because. Okay. Yeah. Yep. All right. Uh, let's try that again. Let's try the same, same. First, second verse, same as the first. Um, yeah. Did I read what that right? What is going on, Dice? I, am I reading that right? You were reading it right. It's open ended. Nine successes? It's open ended, so those three sixes just kept exploding. Oh my God. <laughs> Where was that roll when I had hold of the wheel and I wanted to. No wanted shit. To. Uh... No shit. Wow. Um. Yeah, I think you like stop and like feel the breeze and 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 turn right into it. Yeah. Uh turn right into a sparrow. Yeah. Uh Wow. Um, and, and and I also think you don't really need a speed test. I think I think flying is just so much faster than right. overland travel that the, the speed test isn't necessary. Um, you you overtake everyone. It's not as much as you would have liked to. Uh, 
you know, like you, you lose a little bit of time, but really yeah. like you, you probably lost 20 minutes, a half hour. Like it just wasn't, right. it wasn't too terrible. Um, and you, you're a bit more exhausted than you otherwise would have been. Um, <laughs> let the, let the hate flow through you. Yeah. But, but you didn't, you, you kind of like, you had your tantrum moment and then you like, you know, felt the wind and turned off your targeting computer and, uh, right, and, right. and, and got to it. Uh, You know, I, I think as a as a as a sparrow, uh, you 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 fly past the the weird landers, yeah. and um, and you can tell that you can tell that Jacob wasn't a hundred percent right. Um, there is a. Uh, they're not going to the northernmost Ironlander keep. They're going to one a little bit south of that. Mm. And uh, um, I don't think it's on the map. I think it would be like, you know, um, you know, there's there's the one castle you could see right under Iron God. I think there's like a smaller, uh, a, a smaller keep uh, that's like still under construction south of there, and and that's where they're going. And uh, and like that's the intel you can bring back. Awesome. Yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. So I think I, um, I I I how big is the group? Can I tell? Can I get close enough to how, how far away am I seeing them when I when I when I spot them? Is it way up in the um, distance or is it? Yeah, I, I think it's pretty far at a distance. Um, okay. I think it's pretty far at a distance. You can try to get close, but you you run the risk of someone noticing something strange or, you know, uh, someone possessed who has devil eyes noticing you. Exactly. Um, yeah. Um, no, that's okay. I, I don't need to get, I mean, I, I will, I will read their auras and I will try and, I will try and find that, that, that demon when we, when we confront them. But okay. in the meantime, I just want to get a sense of how many their group is, you know, cool. is it a handful or is it 50 people, you know? Um, no, it's not 50. I would say they have, uh, they've got 10. Okay. All right. Uh, and they're, they're obviously riding horses, right? Like they're, yep. Yep, yep, are yep. they hauling ass? Are they, you know, seem like, you know, the, the dust is ripping up behind them or are they, um, they're... obviously I can't really tell the exact speed. I'm just kind of. I mean, yeah, you, you, you could, you can tell, I mean, you, you can tell when someone is hauling ass or not. And I think they're, they're moving with a purpose, but they're not moving like Jacob has your crew moving. Okay. Um, yeah. They're not, they're just not moving like that. Um, they, they didn't think that anyone in Shadow Holt would have the moxie to like ride into the Shadowlands after them or into the Ironlands after them rather. Right. Like, you know, this is their turf and, and, that's a that's a, a gutsy move. Yeah. Yeah. Cool. Yeah. So I meet them. I meet uh, the the caravan, the convoy, um, back at. Uh, I sort of fly back and um, chirp incessantly. You know, uh, make that make them know that I'm present. Yeah. And then kind of fly behind up you know, fly behind a, a, a tree or something well, I like that. I think like when, when, when you chirp, like uh, the the Duchess puts her like hand out for you to land on. Mm. Cute. Nice. Very Lady Hawk. Yeah. Yeah. And, right. and, and when, when, when you do that, she like takes her horse over to a grove and like takes your robe and like hangs it up on a branch and, uh, nice. and, and puts, and, and, you know, puts a staff next to it and, you know, and kind of waits there for you. Uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, I think we, we, you know, see Nara emerge, uh, cloak over her shoulders and, um, and, uh, and, and I think Nara looks fucking exhausted. I think like that point yeah. of, of fort is, is a big deal. And it's I think, like, yeah, yeah. I think she, she looks ragged. Yeah. Yeah. I, I, I 
it hard to say whether it's the 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 spell failing or whether it's the uh, you know the flying all day. But yeah, she she definitely looks like she needs to eat three meals and right. um, and uh, she uh, yeah she she's like water you know mead something right yeah yeah and I but, think like I, like as soon as you are like decent like matter of fact I mean I don't think Freja is like uh is is cares very much about nudity or or, or is uh, is yeah, is bashful that. i think like as soon as you're in human form she hands you a canteen and she says like you look like the rest of us feel this this road time is is riding hard on you hmm? it wasn't uh uh the uh yeah she she doesn't want to admit that it was the magic that wore her out she's like she's like it's it's uh it's just as wearisome uh, for me, uh, to be sure. And just like spills, you know, she's drinking, but she's just like chugging it as hard as she can. So, you know, yeah. water or whatever it is, it spills over, spills out as well. And yeah, she nods and is thankful. Like, you know, is, is appreciative that Frisia is, is, isn't, um, holding on to ceremony or anything like that. And, um, and, and thanks her and, you know, the ghost like stop, catches her breath, swigs a bit more, and then uh, you know, uh, I think remembers how her sides almost burst when she did that after drinking too much too fast after a particularly tough spell in her training and paces, you know, makes sure to pace herself. Yeah. Um, and uh, uh, and and she kind of like sputters out. We had the wrong way. They're going to a different fort. Um, uh, let North. me tell Jacob to the south, yeah. uh, a smaller keep. Yeah. And I think like, you know, yeah. yeah, she shakes her head. She says they're going to the new castle. He, he, he cusses and says, uh, and, and, and looks at you and says, good catch. Thank you. There's uh there's 10 of them and they're writing at a, they're not writing as fast as we are. They're they're intent, but I don't think they suspect we're behind them. I didn't get close. I don't want the uh, I don't want to be detected. And he says, uh, he he looks at uh, at at, at Freja and says, "I'm betting they're going to stop for the night, and if they do, I think we go past them and wait for them." Uh, in, in in the town outside the castle and we take them there and she says that's a gamble and she's, he says it's more of a gamble dealing with someone possessed out in the wilderness at least if we do it in town we'll know that there's hallowed ground nearby we can we can get to the church if we need to she says there's wisdom in that you're in charge, cousin. You do it. He says, you know, and he, he he gathers everyone around and says, uh, "Our wizard has done us well. We know they're going to uh, to the new castle to the south. There's still construction going on there. We also know that one of them is possessed by a demon. I." We're not going to take them when they make camp tonight. We're going to ride past them. We're going to go into the town on the quiet and we're going to take them there. And I think like the 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 knight with the dragon emblazoned on his chest is like, why not just take them while they're sleeping? He says, because they're not going to feel safe while they're sleeping. They're going to have heavy guard. And if the demon comes out, I want to be able to get us to be able to get to hallowed ground if we need to. I'm not. I don't want to fight. I don't want to fight another. An, a, a, I don't want to fight a, 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 a creature of hell out in the open field, unless we have a, a place to go. And like you could tell that the 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 knight with the dragon was like no, like you know he's from, he's from Dragondale. He said he he was ready to like disagree, but then like he hears the wisdom in that. Yeah. Yeah, Nara's a little surprised that uh, Frisia shared that. That she, yeah. you know, she definitely 
told her in confidence. Um, it's not like she's upset. She's just like, okay, I have to be careful about who I. Oh, interesting. Yeah. Yeah. You know, about what I tell her. But also she's like, she probably said that because I also said, you know, none of you is possessed. Uh, you know, she's kind of yeah. doing the math of like, would she have told, would she have thought, would she have thought not to mention a demon if she didn't know, if I hadn't confirmed her that none of her people were possessed, would she have tipped her hand, you know? And yeah. so she, she's kind of looking at Jacob and looking at Freja um, as, as he's saying this, she doesn't disagree with any of these ideas. Like, you know, yeah. uh, she doesn't want to face them all. And I, um, uh, and I think she just pipes up. She says, we may be able to find reinforcements or support. I'm not sure how friendly the people of New Keep will be to Weirdlanders, but uh, there's they outnumber us right now. I'm going let let's hope that uh, the ambush will will take care of that. And and like folks nod and uh, they they look to one guy and there's one person there who's like dressed a little bit differently and like they're all kind of like knights and huntsmen and nobles and like i don't think you have a lot of experience in that area mm -hmm. um but like you realize that like they were treating this one guy a little differently and you realize that like oh he's an ironlander mm. and and uh his his tabard has like an axe crossed with a ball and chain and they say have you been there and he says yes i've been there I know a good place for the ambush too. And they and Jacob says, Good, you'll show me. Let's ride. And and uh I think when you get on the horse with Freja, she says, Do you have anything that can handle a devil? Um uh, Nara looks over her shoulder. Are we still in, in sight? Are we still close enough to wheel hold that we can see the fires of the, of the wheel? Uh, it depends on how the clouds are, I think. Yeah. yeah. So she, she sort of cocks her head back in the direction of wheel hold and says, no, I left that. Um, I left that on, 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 on wheel hold in, on, in wheel hold. Yeah, yeah. And I think um, Fresha laughs at that and says, uh, that's good. I wouldn't want that on the back of my horse. She looks again at her hands. Uh, you know, she's like, she's got her hands like around Fresha's waist, right? You know, to, to yeah. hold on, right? And so she like pulls one of them out and we can see like the the the, 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 the tissue. She's like, no, no, you wouldn't, you know. It's, it's yeah, and I, I, just as I hot think as it looks. I think Fresha like, like takes your hand takes your arm kind of tenderly and looks down and says, uh, like, like touches you. Like, like, uh, I know what it's like to be hurt for wanting power. Right. Like she's, you know, it's a, it's an affectionate, like sisterly touch. Mm -hmm. And, and she says, uh, and she, yeah. And I think she says, I know what it's like to pull the, to pay that price. Sometimes you have to do it. Uh, yeah, she says, thank you. Uh, it's, 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 I still don't know whether it was the right choice or not, but, um, and she, she kind of like breasts her head in Freja's back. She just kind of like puts her head down in Freja's back. Yeah, yeah. You got to feel the weight of it. And normally that probably happens just in riding you like bobbing around, but like it yeah, stays yeah. there. Like, so it's not yeah, just, yeah. it's not just like a, a thud and she kind of keeps her head there. And, and, you know, from the sniffling, Fresh, I could probably tell that she's like tearing, like not quite crying, but like tearing, but like tearing a little and says, um, if I'd succeeded last time, um, you would have all known about the attack. And I could have, I could have warned you, um, Sometimes, even when you grab for power, it doesn't. It doesn't. It doesn't do what you what you hoped. Uh, she sh she thanks. shrugs. She shrugs and she says, "You lived. Pissed off a lot of wizards, but you lived." So I've heard <laughs> about the wizards part. Yeah, and and uh, I'm sorry that I took Kaji's place. I didn't mean to. I didn't mean to 
steal any honors from him. I just needed to warn a whole town about a about a. Uh, I just needed to warn a whole town about an impending attack, and and I all I, and the only thing I had was a big fiery wheel uh, in front of me. Kaji had great ambitions. It's just the way of things. Oh. It's not. It's no reflection on you. And uh, um, I think like you ride through the night again, again, taking it careful. Um, and I think there, there's a point where you're like on a hill and you can like see the campfire of the Ironlanders. You're like good passing, right? It's mm. like, it's in the valley and you're on a hill and uh, you, you hear uh, Freya like make a, like a, a, you know, we've had the sign of the wheel. That's like the warding sign. And she right. makes the, like the, like, you like know, the, the burning side, like the, yeah, like, yeah. Burn it's, it's yeah. the, it's the, it's the fire, right? She makes yeah. the, she makes the, the, the sign of the flame at them, you know, like, yeah. Mm, and, uh, and, and, uh, I love it. And, 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 and hisses a little bit. But you, you, you step the horses through the night, and I'm going to end, not end for the night here, but I'll, I'll end for our first break. Yeah. Uh, is that you, you ride through the night. You get to this small town uh, built around a castle, and uh, everybody gets off their horses and walks them in, and and Jacob kind of walks you through a forest, and confers with uh, you know right near the castle, and confers with you know the Ironlander, uh, and and you you find a place that's like near the road. Uh, you know, in between a couple of buildings and they're like, he's like, they're going to ride right through here. And, um, they start to make plans for the ambush. Yeah. And, and they like, you know, people get into position and I think Freja, uh, you know, stays on horseback and says, uh, can you do what you need to do riding on riding behind me? Um, uh, she so Nara was thinking she would be part of the the ambush. Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. She, you are like fresh. Oh, oh, yeah. Okay, yeah, absolutely. Uh, yes, yes. Just um, you know, uh, apologies in advance if I squeeze. Um, I, I mean, we kind of have talked about it that there are there are some somatic and verbal components, but I don't think any of I don't think there. Uh, I didn't. I don't. You know, from our talk about it, I don't think they're as like delicate as the D and D like. Yeah, you know, fire fingers have to have it exactly precise. Like, yeah, yeah, I, yeah, yeah. I think you know she's got to have a hand free, but she doesn't. You know, she could she could do that with uh, on, cool. on horseback as long as she's not riding. Yeah, makes sense. Cool. So yeah, she she says I I, I will. Um, there are two things I want to do. One of them before the break. One of them after the break, but before the sandwich starts. So the one before the break is um, when we're up on that hill and we're looking down. This is, I feel like, when we wanted to blow our New Zealand budget, where we have this gorgeous, like, the stars out and the moon out, and we see yeah. us up on the hill, and there's this beautiful panoramic of the valley and the hill and all of us on our on our horses, and it's just like, oh, yeah, they that's, you know, Lord of the Rings style, like. Awesome. That, that's, that, that's what's in my mind. And the other yeah, one yeah. is that when Jacob leads me to the ambush, there's a, there's a I want to ask him a thing. Well, well yeah. I'll that up. But we'll do that. We'll do that for that. 